Good day, this is Mike Alden with Lee Smith. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. Want to review the Cummins Engines Owner Manual that you will find inside your Isuzu F-Series cab. The importance of this information is to increase the awareness and safety in operating your Cummins engine as it sits inside our FTR truck. Let's take a look at the information inside. As we open up the manual, we'll see the engine and systems identification, operating instructions, daily maintenance, routine maintenance, service literature, service assistance, maintenance specifications, warranty. A simple trick to line up and see the different sections as to they're covered is to take the book and bend it to where you can leaf through all the pages to see the markers for the different chapters inside the manual. Please take time to complete the owner's product registration at the front of the manual and use the QR code to do it online if you prefer. For maximizing information awareness, take time to locate and complete the important reference numbers found at the very front of the manual as well. I like this manual because it takes into consideration steps to become familiar with your engine from your acronyms and abbreviations to general safety instructions and even provides you the illustrations and symbols. Be aware that this is an all-encompassing manual for all the different types of fuels that can be run through the B7 engine as it is produced from the manufacturer. Please become familiar with the after treatment section of the general safety instructions. In the operating instructions sections, you'll see the information on the cold weather starting, electronic controlled fuel system, engine braking, indicator lamps, operating range, and the engine shutdown, and information on jump starting your Cummins B6 engine. The indicator lamp section is important for the explanation of what you might see on the dash of the truck the 6.7 liter engine is installed. So in section two, you'll find information on the daily maintenance guidelines and schedule. It highlights the preventative maintenance begins with day-to-day -day awareness of systems prior to engine operation and checking for very simple things such as excessive oil, coolant, or fuel consumption, the leaks, loose or damaged parts, and worn or damaged belts. In addition to worn or damaged harnesses, any change in the system's appearance, odor of fuel, odor of electrical devices. Simply said you need to do a couple of checks and balances to make sure that your vehicle is safe to operate on the road. We want to check the air intake fan, crankcase breather tube, coolant level, lubricating oil level, after treatment piping, and diesel emission fluid level, in addition to draining the water from the fuel water separator and the air tanks and reservoirs. Routine maintenance is in section 3 and covers the coolant intervals, the fuel filter intervals, oil lubricating systems, and the routine maintenance guidelines. Also provided to you is the opportunity to keep your maintenance record information current inside this booklet. Just a quick review on the routine maintenance schedule. Every 7,500 miles, you'll need to check your air cleaner restriction, your charge air piping, and your air cooler. At 15,000 miles or 500 hours, it's also suggested to include the batteries, battery cable connections, and the radiator pressure cap. At 30,000 miles, we're gonna include the cooling fan belt drive, the cooling fan belt tensioner, and the air compressor discharge lines. Now there are two specific notes here referring to the lubricating oil and filters and the fuel filter spin on type. At 60,000 miles, we do want to check into the viscous vibration damper, engine cleaning, radiator hoses, the overhead set we will check and adjust at 150,000 miles, and at all the way out at 200,000 miles and 6,500 hours, we're going to need to do the change of the diesel particulate filter and the DEF dosing unit filter. And as mentioned earlier, there is the routine maintenance record form found also in the booklet. Let's take a look at the servicing intervals real quick and why we take a look at the miles per gallon that your truck is delivering as to how soon you should consider servicing the engine oil, in other words, changing the oil. If we're in an application where we're yielding less than six miles per gallon, we're gonna change it at 12,000 miles. Anywhere between six to 10 miles to the gallon, we're gonna take a look at 25,000 miles. And if we're averaging above 10 miles per gallon, let's go ahead and take a look at the approval of up to 30,000 miles of use between oil changes. 
talk about maximizing your uptime as well as reducing the number of services required during the lifetime of your truck. Your fuel filter is pretty well set at 60,000 miles or 2,000 engine hours with a time frame at least once every 18 months. Section L goes over the service literature information, including general information and customized parts catalogs and where to order parts. The maintenance specifications can be found in section five of the owner's manual, covering the coolant recommendations, filter specifications, diesel exhaust fluid recommendations, fuel recommendations, fuel system specifications, general engine lubricating and lubricating oil system information as well. Please make sure to note in the specification areas for quick reference, the filters recommended for your 6.7 liter engine. Under normal operation, please use the 10W30 viscosity heavy duty engine lubricating oil that meets the requirements of Cummins engineering specification 20086 such as the Valvoline Premium Blue 1 Solution Gen 2. For severe service, they are recommending the 15W40, and for cold weather applications, the 5W40. And towards the end of the section is the graphic that indicates the different temperature use for the oils. Please be aware of the environment that this engine is put into. Section W is your warranty section. The good news about the Cummins engine is that the base warranty for this product in the F-Series cab is three years unlimited miles from the date of delivery to the end user. There are owner responsibilities and there are limitations to what is covered by the warranty. Also covers the emissions warranty certain and limitations when used in certain industries. The last section refers to the indexing of the full owner's manual from Cummins. This makes it a quick trace back to the sections that are most important. Again, this is Mike Olden. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email at molden at lee-smith.com. And we've just gone over the owner's manual for the Cummins B67 engine. Go make it a great day.